Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and tonight I thought I would share with you guys um, my new planner and gratitude journal. I got these, uh, my best friend gave me these for free and they're so cute so I thought I'd come on and share it with you guys. So the brand is Not Koi. Come in these little boxes. This is the gratitude journal. And this is the planner. This is a day planner and this is the gratitude journal. So I will show you the day planner first. This is what the day planner looks like. It is um, the picnic club. Here's the inside of the box. So here's what the front looks like. And here's what the back looks like. Inside cover is very cool and each um, book comes with these stickers. So I have one for the gratitude journal also. Um, I will skip the first page because it has something, some personal stuff on it. But this is, um, this is like what the daily things look like. You have these, this page and this page. They're pretty much the same. Like all the way through. And then you have your weekly overview. Um, let's see here. So basically it has like goals for the week, date, from, uh, to, you know. A habit tracker, you track your habits, shopping lists, and then like a meal planner. And then it continues on. And then the back, the very back, is the same. And then it says, stuff I need to do, but I don't know when yet. So just a few pages of that, extra to-do pages. For all the things on your plate that you haven't found the time to do yet. And then, so like, for example, goals for the week, it's like 318 to 322. Um, you can uh, like keep bedroom picked up, one last sweep clean before work. Uh, water bottles, pick up room. And then this is my... Uh, Shopping list, I have cooking spray, snacks, drinks, hot dogs and buns, dry ingredients, eggs, butter, Nutella, cheeses, and deli ham. So, this is the weekly overview page. So, time to plan your week. Set your goals. Decide the agenda for the coming week by noting down the top three things you'd like to accomplish. You track your progress, try to introduce positive habits, or want to get rid of some old ones. Use a tracker to build some consistency. You make a list. Use a shopping list to plan ahead for groceries or a restock of your favorite stationery. So for example, Thursday, go for a haircut, phone bill due, dinner with mom, plan with blobs. The second part of the weekly Overview section can be used to set day-wise reminders or as meal prep for the week ahead. So this would be a blob. And then it comes with this bookmark um, for weekly overview. So just, uh, it'll peep out right there. Like that. And it also comes with a daily... Um, Bookmark, I don't know what happened to my daily bookmark. Oh, let me show you that guy. So here's my daily bookmark. Oh, 
Oh, hold on. So this is like your daily planning made easy. You can prioritize. Begin with noting your three most important tasks for the day. Then add up to 10 lower priority tasks below. Schedule, jot down any time dependent tasks such as meetings, appointments, or activities here. You can relax while going about your day. Remember to take a break, plan something fun, or do nothing at all to unwind. And then review. Write a note about how your day went and color in the daisy to sum up your mood for the day. It's always nice to reflect on the days gone by. For whole six months, you get 180 daily planning pages, 26 weekly planning pages, and four extra to do pages. And this is my, this is the daily bookmark. So I'm covering up some personal stuff, but you have your daily and then your weekly, which I think is really convenient. Get the box back open. So there's that and this is the gratitude journal good day on my mind it also comes with the stickers and this is the the same um, same sheet in the background print this is a gratitude journal has cherries which I love and it says Merry Summer the back is also the same so um, for example it says, it says your date your morning evening which includes highlight of the day and main takeaway from today the purpose of this journal it says what is the point of gratitude journaling? You know how the smallest things in life can spark joy but be, can be easily missed? This book is designed to help you find happiness in everyday life and store it. So the practice of journaling is known to have significant benefits for our mental health. It helps improve the quality of our sleep, be more self-aware, and increase self-esteem. We also tend to feel more empathetic, em, empath, empathetic towards our loved ones when we're more in touch with our feelings. The purpose is to be mindful with living every single day, trying to treasure memory no matter how big or small. Looking back at photos of your favorite moments in your camera roll is probably something that always brings a smile to your face. But when, sometime, when some moments can't be captured in photos alone, that's when words do the trick. When times are hard, it can be tough to find things that make you happy. Imagine looking back at your cherished memories on a day that seems nothing to be going right. That nothing seems to be going right. That would be a real pick-me-up, wouldn't it? So it says, like, how to use. The daily sections are split in, in two halves. Give it a few minutes when you wake up and before you go to bed. A.M. Appreciate. Begin the day with a positive note by listing down three things that you feel grateful towards. P.M. Record and reflect before going to bed in the day by recording your highlight of the day and then reflect on something that you learned or were inspired by. Don't be too hard on yourself if you happen to skip a day in between. The practice in itself shouldn't be the cause of anxiety. Any positive habit takes time to build, which is why all the entries in this journal are undated. So, like, this is, um, these are prompts, like, daily prompts. For example, I started yesterday. It says, something that cheers you up on a rough day. Music or getting a snack. Something that makes, about your home that makes you happy. My cozy bed and large TV. Someone who makes my life better. My best friend. And the highlight of the day. A message that made you smile. A task you finally got off your to-do list, a song you haven't listened to in a while, or a yum meal that you had. My takeaway from day. 
Was there an interaction or an event from today that made you learn something new about the world or more about yourself? And then, like, I love how the pages are different colored. Um, it has milestones, like, this, this one is, this one is your 50th entries. Yay, you just hit a hit. That's amazing. You should be proud of the progress you made so far. Time for a new gratitude challenge. It says self-love. List your 10 favorite qualities about yourself. See if I can find so like another example would be 30th. Whoa, you're doing great. Get ready for a new gratitude challenge. Appreciation. Call a friend or family member and remind, we, remind them why you love them so much. Who did you call and how did you feel? <clears throat> so, I just wanted to come on here and share you guys these things that I have found um, to be really helpful for me. And I enjoy, like, this kind of stationary um stuff so you can get these at not note koi not koi whatever however you pronounce it you can get them online on their website um there's the gratitude journal and then again here's the daily planner so yeah i i hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any um, tips or tricks that you would like to share below or some comment something that you're grateful for or just anything anything like that just let me know and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye